in last video we have discussed about optical path difference and we have written expression for it that is delta is equal to optical path which is equal to mu into bf plus ft minus bh this is the optical path difference and let us denote this equation by 1 okay now in triangle in triangle b f d that is in triangle b f d here we can observe that b f is equals to f t that is in triangle b f t b f is equals to f t then above equation becomes that is optical path becomes which is equals to mu in place of ft i am going to substitute bf value then we are going to get two times bf minus bh and i am going to denote this equation by two and here from angle b f g is equals to r that is in angle b f g b f g is equals to r then we can write cos r is equals to that is here cos r is equals to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is from angle b f g is equals to r and cos r is equals to g f g f divided by hypotenuse that is b f and here we can write b f is equals to here g f g f is nothing but the thickness that is g f is equals to t in place of g f we are going to substitute t value then we are going to get b f is equals to t divided by cos r where g f is equals to t and let us denote this equation by 3 and also and also in triangle b f d that is in triangle b f d here b g is equals to g d these two sides are equal in this triangle in triangle b f d b g is equals to g d that is b g is equals to g d and we can write b d is equals to that is b d is equals to two times b g because these two sides are equal that's why we are going to write b d is equals to two times p g okay let us denote this equation by four and from angle b f g here angle b f g is r which is equals to r and here let us write that is tan r tan r in angle b f g tan r is equals to adjacent opposite side that is b g divided by adjacent side that is g f but that is here i am going to write b g is equals to g f here we can write g f 
in place of gf we can write t that is gf is equals to t thickness so here i am going to write in place of gf t t tan r that is here gf is equals to t and i am going to substitute this bg value in equation 4 that is i am going to substitute bg value in equation 4 then we are going to get bd is equals to 2 times t tan r and let us denote this equation by 5 and also and also from angle b d h is equals to here from angle b d h from angle b d h is equals to i and here let us write sine i in angle b d h so here sine i is equals to this is the angle so we can write opposite side divided by hypotenuse that is bh sin i is equals to bh divided by bd and we can write this equation as a bh is equals to bd sin i but we know that this is equals to bd sin i here substituting substituting bd value from equation here i am going to substitute bd value from equation 5 then we are going to get bh is equals to 2 times t into tan r into sin i and from Snell's law we have mu that is refractive index mu is equals to sin i divided by sin r that is sin of angle of incidence divided by sin of angle of refraction or we can write here sin i is equals to mu times sin r and let us substitute sin i value in the equation let us denote this equation by 6 now substituting sin i value in equation 6 then we are going to get bh is equals to 2 times 2 times t tan r can be written as sin r divided by cos r here in place of sin i i am going to substitute mu into sin r then we are going to get mu into sin r here we can write bh is equals to 2 mu into t sin square r divided by cos r this is the bh value and let us denote this equation by bh value by equation 7 ok now substituting bf and bh value from equation 3 and 7 in equation 2 that is here from equation 2 we, are, we have optical part difference is equals to mu into 2 times bf minus bh that is here I am going to write optical part difference is equals to 2 times mu 2 times mu into 
bf value we have calculated that is t divided by cos r t divided by cos r minus here we have calculated bh value which is 2 times mu t sin square r divided by cos r and here I am going to take 2 mu t cos r outside then this equation becomes 2 mu t divided by cos r 1 minus here also 2 mu t cos r is common it becomes 1 minus sin square r then optical path difference we can write it as a 2 mu t divided by cos r 1 minus sin square r can be written as a cos square r because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so we can write it as a cos square r here cos r cos r get cancelled then finally we get path difference optical path difference is equals to 2 mu t divided by 2 mu t into cos r this is the optical path difference this is not true path difference because here the reflected ray is having a phase difference of phi which is equivalent to path difference of lambda by 2 so we can write the true path difference that is the true path difference can be written as delta is equals to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 we are going to subtract lambda by 2 to the above equation and this equation gives the true path difference in case of reflected light and let us denote this equation by 8 okay now let us see condition for maxima that is condition for maxima from Eng's double slit experiment we know that for for the bright band to be formed the path difference must be equal to n lambda and where n is equals to 0 1 2 3 this is the condition we have obtained from Eng's double slit experiment okay now let us substitute path difference value that is we have already calculated in this equation then we are going to get 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 is equals to n into lambda here I am going to interchange the terms that is I am going to write 2 mu t cos r is equals to n lambda plus lambda by 2 or we can write it as a if you take lambda outside then lambda by 2 outside then we are going to get 2 times n plus 1 that is lambda by 2 into 2n plus 1 2 mu t cos r this is the condition for maxima that is for bright band ok now let us see second one condition for minima that is for dark band here for for the dark band to be formed dark band to be formed 
for this for the dark pan the path difference is equals to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 this is the path difference equation which we have observed in Hanks double slit experiment now we have calculated path difference value let us substitute path difference for minima condition here we are going to get 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 is equals to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 here if you interchange these terms this 2 mu t cos r we can write this equation as a n lambda here 2 2 gets cancelled plus lambda by 2 here it becomes plus lambda by 2 if we simplify this equation we are going to get n lambda here plus 2 is common 2 times lambda 2 to get cancelled it becomes lambda so we can write 2 mu t cos r is equals to if you take lambda outside we are going to get n plus 1 this is the condition for minima okay it is the condition for maxima this is the condition for minima these are the condition for maxima and minima in the case of reflected light in the thin films.